M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the ICOM IC705. Zero FXB, let's have a quick look at the display menu. So we'll go menu. And then we'll go to set. And then we'll select display. Now display is quite a long menu actually. You get this same menu on the ICOM 52. So the first one is the LCD backlight. You can go up and down once you select the blue. You can go up and down with the brightness, like so, or you can auto adjust. Let's go screen saver battery pack on or off. Screen saver when you're on DC supply. Six, well, you can change that. 15 minutes off. It's up to you. Screen power off switch on or off. You can actually just turn the screen off. The only thing you can do, you can do um, a screen save on these radios. A screenshot and it saves it to your SD card. We'll do a video on screenshot. I've got one already, but we'll do it at the end. So, anyway, so back to our menu. Like so, set, display. Right, um, receive LED on or off. These are A lot of these are power saving things. Meter peak hold on or off, memory name on or off, group name on or off, receive call sign display, normal, what else is there, receive hold and off, let's do receive hold just for fun, anyway, receive position indicator, there you go, RX position display, that's on or off, Receive position display timer. So how long it's on the screen for. Do we like it for a long time or a short time? Reply position display on or off. RX picture indicator. On or off. DVRX backlight. On or off. TX call sign display. Your call sign, my call sign. Scroll speed fast or slow. Opening messages on, I've got that. Uh, power on, check, on or off. Display unit. <clears throat> oh yeah, these are all that. You can change these at latitude. You can use like old fashioned inches and things and kilometers and temperature and different types, wind speed, even rainfall, look. It's the units, the type of units used. System language is English or Japanese. Okay, so let's just um, work out how we can do the screenshot. So I'll just show you, but I will make a separate video, I think, on the actual power switch. So, uh, I know it's a bit glary here. So what you do is just go menu. You've got to turn the feature on first. Then go set. Then go function. And then look, you've got screen capture, you scroll down to it, you know, you scroll up and down. And you've got one there called screen capture. And you've got to turn that on. So you tap it and select on. Okay. And also you can select the type of picture it's going to save. So we've got PNG here. What else? And BMP. So let's do BMP. Why not? Eh? So when you back out now, when you just briefly press the power button, look, screen off or screen capture, we can select screen capture and I think once you do that it gives you the choice of both so if we exit oh it's already done it <laughs> so yeah so silly me so we've got a screen capture so we go do it again look we can just turn the screen off now or turn it back on and then we can select screen capture now I'm guessing this capture will be in our SD card so we'll just have a quick look SD card, there you go, and then we'll go, uh, let's have a look where it might save it, alright, that's opening picture, yeah, don't worry, I will find it, yeah, there it was, so you go to S opening picture, pass opening picture, and go, and you don't forget, you can set an opening picture if you get the right size, type of picture, screen capture view, and look, you've got files here that we've saved, if you set one of them, that's what we saved, and you can just uh, back out of that and back to normal. So that's how you do the screen capture. I'll do a separate video showing that. So thanks for watching the video on display settings of the ICOM 705. 73, all the best.